Hello and welcome back to Double Meat Plays. Only I'm not playing anything. I'm making waffles, but not normal waffles. Waffles with potato and hash browns and egg in them. So let's start by throwing some grated owl. One moment, please. Something in my eye. Throwing some grated potato into your waffle iron. Come on. It depends on your waffle iron how much uh, how much potato it'll take, but uh, just kind of have to learn your waffle iron's potato capacity. We're just going to be finishing off this bowl since I already made some earlier. They turned out beautiful. I'll go and show you all these cook. There we are. Okay, then we stir it around. Try to even it out a little bit. Good, last little bit here. Right there. Good. All right. There you go. Waffles. Okay. So this was greased on the bottom a little bit already. So what you're going to want to do is uh, grease the top, otherwise it'll it'll stick pretty bad. Well, it depends on your waffle iron. If you have a, a nice, still non-sticky waffle iron, then it won't stick too bad, but you'll still want to grease it a bit. <coughs> right, let's go show you some of the finished ones while we wait for this. Do, 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 walking through the house. Walking through the house. Walking through the house. Like Over to the kitchen table. Walking through the house. This is not in the kitchen. This is in the living room. But don't don't, don't worry about that. Here's a nice example of one. I'll give you a nice uh, rotary view of it. Isn't that pretty? Nice and brown. You notice that's not all waffle. In there is an egg. The egg is to hold it together and, make, and to help it to taste amazing. It's great with ketchup. Alright, back to the kitchen. We're gonna go look at the waffle iron. Do, 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 do. Oh yes, um, we should prepare, prepare the egg. Prepare the egg. Preparing so, the egg. Preparing the egg. Preparing the egg. Preparing the egg. So, Don't to burn the egg. we start with an egg. This is an egg. You should know what it is. I'm getting steam all over my lens. There it goes. <coughs> I'll just be using, be using a cup and a chopstick because that's what's clean and handy. It's after Thanksgiving, don't judge. Besides, a cup's really great for uh, great egg all over my hand. Now we'll be doing a tutorial on how to wash your hands. You walk over to a sink. Turn on the thing. Burn your hand. Turn the sink on colder. Continue to burn your hand until your hand is clean. Great. Look around for a washcloth, because this is your parents' house and you don't know where things are. Wait, wait, I think she's just put some over here. Aha! Dry your hands. Two tutorials in one. Isn't this great? Great. Just in case you didn't know how to wash your hands. Now, you want a little milk? I have prepared a bit by putting it out here. Roughly that much milk for an egg. Yeah. However much milk you like in your eggs. There we go. Remember to close it. Then put it off to the side to forget about and coagulate. Or, you know, put it back in the fridge when you're done. I'm talking about you know what to do with milk. Come on. 
Okay, if you don't know what to do with milk, you should, probably shouldn't be handling waffle irons. Stir it. Looks nice. Yay, looks nice. Okay, now is a good time for us to check back on the hash browns. Ready for this? Pretty okay. I'm gonna let it keep going for a bit. You can also use this method just to do hash browns. This doesn't have any egg in it, and it has still made some pretty nice hash browns. Um, we had some leftover bacon grease, that is optional. It probably looks about like mayonnaise or snot or various other horrible things right now. But on camera, bacon grease is not meant to be. So, I hate to rush it, but we're on camera, so and I don't, I don't feel like doing more takes or splicing video together because I'm that lazy. So, we take our egg, stir it, pour it roughly evenly around. There we are. So, you try not to let it go outside of the, let's fog up the camera, outside of the the perimeter and you won't have as much cleanup. Come back up here, re-grease this. Drop it. Um, let's put the milk away. You allow it to sit for the duration of the cooking time. Now, my my parents, uh, they use butter. I like to use the, the spray can um, just because it takes about a quarter of a second to grease an entire waffle iron and it's much more even. But butter works just fine, as does bacon grease. There should be a little bit of bacon grease down in there. Uh, it, bacon grease is just add flavor. Let's go ahead and grab some for your examination. This one looks like a little dude. Hello, I'm going to eat you, little dude. Nothing, there's nothing you can do about it because you're made of potato. That's ridiculously crunchy. Oh yes, preparing a potato. Um, you can use some oil, seasoned salt. Oh shoot! Considering the seasoned salt, that's a good midpoint. It's good with seasoned salt. Well, see, it's there. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to let it crisp a little bit longer. Um, take a potato, grate it, or um, get those grated potatoes, pre-grated potatoes you can get at the store. That's just fine. Peel it if you want. Whatever, it's hash browns. You're not even going to notice. Um, <coughs> put in some seasoned salt and some oil. Stir it around until the, all the potatoes are glossy then it's ready for the waffle iron. It is super tasty, uh, super easy, doesn't take too much time. I've heard that these, uh, oh yes, and I have not seen anyone else do this style with the egg in it. There's other people who have done it with, with uh, just the potato, and that's okay. I've heard it described as weekend uh, breakfast with weekday effort. Oh man, I'm getting the camera all greasy. That is lame. Alright, whatever. Well, um, we're running up on 45 seconds left in the video, so let's reveal it. There we go. Give you a nice look around. Now, uh, if, if you're having trouble pulling it off, you just add more grease next time. Um, you can also turn the waffle iron upside down and have a gravity assist pull the, the waffle off for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's not a game, I know. It's so sad. Like and subscribe, uh, and enjoy. I'm even calling this waffle hash brown waffle omelets. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.